I always walk around wearing this like my disguise, as if anybody's going to recognize me anyway. My disguise is this hat. This E on here stands for uh, Half Earth, the Half Earth Foundation. And that's something, well, I'm glad a few people know about it. It's uh, something that I've been involved with for a couple of years. It was started by uh, a renowned scientist at the time that uh, so uh, it really t touched me and stayed with me and he what he said was we have the potential to make this planet a paradise by the 22nd century this was 10 years ago and he said but we have to be very careful that we don't uh, to spoil what we have because we are the custodians well uh, I was doing an interview uh, about the last album I did uh, a couple of years ago and uh, I, I, really the last thing I felt like talking about was the, the album that I did so I was talking about Ed Wilson and uh, that he said, said this that the planet could be a, a paradise and how much it inspired me, just the, the thought of it. Uh, and it is fantastic, isn't it? I mean, our home, our home. And so he contacted me, he heard about this interview and he contacted me again and he, he gave me his book, Half Earth, which is a plan to save the planet as it now exists. So I recommend this book to you, you can Google it. Half Earth is what it's called. And uh, that's, a, that's a little bit loud. Um, anyway, I said, well, I mean, I don't know what I can do. I'm just, uh, I sing, you know, I write songs, I sing. But I've been talking about it at uh, I'll tell you an interesting thing. I gave, I gave, uh, uh, we left a pamphlet on the seats of the, the last tour. The last tour that I did, I gave all the profits to his foundation. And uh, we, left, we left this pamphlet with information about, about the Half Earth Foundation. And uh, I'd say we played to maybe, it wasn't a big tour, maybe we played to 150,000 people altogether. Uh, about 2,000 people responded to the pamphlet, which, considering the size of the foundation, people, they were thrilled. But I thought, you know, if this was 150,000 people with, uh, with an advanced stage cancer, and I left a pamphlet that said, this is, this is what we have to do to save ourselves. I mean, the response would be so much greater than one and a half percent, call, you know. So, I think in the thought that we could actually face an extinction in 70 years, 75 years, is so uh, overwhelming that we just go into denial immediately and say, well, that's just not going to happen, you know, things will, things will work out, you know. But the truth is, and I speak particularly now to younger people in the, in the audience, you're the, the Noah's Ark generation. Every species that you save, you'll bring with you into your future and your children's future.